summertime and you know in the summer we use more water and did you ever think of where all that water is coming from to water our gardens to water our lawns well today i am with chris hollenbach and chris you work for the water treatment area I do. I, so I work in public drinking water. I work for a group of public water systems and they all use the Clackamas River as a drinking water source. And, um, you know, I'm representing the Regional Water Providers Consortium today and that consortium is a group of 23 of the public water providers in the Washington, Clackamas and Multnomah County area. And they all have varying drinking water sources, but this is one of them. And this river actually provides drinking water to a little over 350,000 people in Clackamas and Washington County. You know, that is just amazing. And we just don't think about it. We turn on the tap, we turn on the hose, and it comes out. Yeah, exactly. And, and so we all want to do our part. So do you have some tips for us that we could help be more efficient all this summer? Yeah, and like you said, summer is, you know, people use up twice to three times more water in the summer than they do the rest of the year. And it is mainly because of their outdoor water use, what we're doing in our gardens. So a few of the really simple tips, like one of them is, you know, in the spring, when you first turn on that irrigation system or you start your watering, you know, go through and check and make sure there aren't any breaks or that your, you know, your irrigation heads, the sprinkler heads aren't like now they're watering the sidewalk because they get moved around, sure. you know, you don't have plants that are in the way. Just kind of make sure the watering is even and where it should be. Um, the other tip that we recommend is that people, they hold off on doing the fertilizing until fall. Do a fall fertilizer that feeds the roots of particularly your lawn. You'll get a better, healthier lawn. Do the aerating in the spring. So hold off until fall. It also helps keep our waterways cleaner. Mm. And then the third tip would be don't water every day. Mm. Do a couple good deep soak during the week and that'll promote deeper root systems which gives you plants and lawns that can deal with the hot dry weather. And you really help us with that watering um, weekly and less often. And so how can that, how can you guys help us with that? So on the regional H2O website, there, we have something called the weekly watering number. And it basically uses real time weather data. And it tells us how much water had been taken up by the plants and then how much just out of evaporation was used last week and it'll tell us how much we need to water specifically this week to replace that. What if I don't know who my regional water provider is? How can I find out? Real simple. You go to the regional H2O website, there's a link for who's my water provider. Put in your address and it will tell you exactly who your public water provider is and then give you a link to their website so that you could learn more specific information about your drinking water source and about you know any edu educational opportunities that they might have. And you know, not knowing where your water comes from is a really common thing, like most people don't know. So this is a great time for people to check that out and find out. And we do all care and you know we're all home gardening has become such a big thing in our lives right now and so we want to help do our part and help the environment and have a beautiful garden so please go to gardentime.tv we have all of these websites listed and you can be more informed chris thanks so much for all the information oh, thank you it's good to see you nice to see you too